Hello and welcome to my channel, Reveal and Review, where today I have a relatively new item from Taco Bell called a Crispinata. Now, I'm sure you guys have all heard of this by now, because uh, it's, like I say, it's relatively new, but it's been out a couple weeks already, I think. And what it is, is a fusion of melted cheese, fusion is Taco Bell's website word, a uh, fusion of melted cheese, juicy tender chicken, and vibrant Mexican spices in a crispy, crunchy shell. And it can be yours for, for the price of just $3.49. So let's uh, set the old interwebs aside. Now I had a little mishap with it. Uh, I, I put it in the, I brought it home and it, I thought it was going to get a little bit cold so I put it in the microwave for like 30 seconds to warm it up and the bag ended up all greasy like that. So I don't know if it ruined it or what happened here. We're going to find out. Oops, oh, well that's what it was. Okay. Let's see. I didn't realize there was some kind of sauce in there and it looks like the sauce exploded all over the bag. That's what it was. There's some kind of sauce you're supposed to dip it in. And uh, I guess the sauce went all over the bag. I should have looked in the bag and made sure there wasn't anything else in there. My fault. So I will be eating it without the sauce today. There's what it looks like, though. Not, I mean, $3.49. I guess it's all right for for today's standards. I mean, I would expect it to be more maybe like $1.99. I mean, I don't know. Let me get a thumbnail, I guess, here real quick. Alright, I should be able to work with that. Now, let's just, uh, man, I, didn't re I re really didn't realize it had that sauce in the bag. I'm kind of disappointed in that. So I'll have to eat it without the sauce, but let's just give it a, it looks really, really crispy, you can tell. Let's just give it a try and see how it goes. Here's what it looks like on the inside. Like I said, it is fresh, but I put, it has been, I had to set everything up and it, I was afraid it'd be cold, so I put it in the microwave for like 30 seconds. So it's hot again, and it doesn't have any kind of a microwave taste to it or anything, so it didn't ruin it by putting it in the microwave. But uh, yeah, I'm kind of impressed with it, more than I thought it was going to be. There's another look at the inside of it. I'm kind of more impressed with it than I thought it was going to be. It... Uh, that shell is really, really crispy. And then it does have chicken and a combination of cheese and different spices in there. It's, it's good. Uh, I taste the chicken and I taste a combination of spices that I really can't describe. It's not really like spicy, you know, like a lot of spice or anything that you won't be able to handle. But there is some seasoning, I guess, is the right word for it. It's well seasoned. Uh, there's a good amount of filling in there, as you can see. They didn't skimp on the filling. A lot of times you bite into these things and they're all the, you know, the crust and no filling. There's a good amount of filling in it and a good amount of chicken in it. And, uh, I don't know, I don't see, it looks, there's something, it looks like I can see some rice in there, but I don't think it's rice. I think it's actually pieces of chicken. So, it's really, really good. I, I'd, I'd, uh, I'd recommend it. I don't know if it's really, really good. But it's good. It's better than I thought it was going to be. Uh, 
So, um, like I said, you taste the chicken, and it's got plenty of cheese and plenty of filling in there, and it's well seasoned. And it's kind of hard to describe what that seasoning tastes like. It's a little bit of spice, just a little bit, and I don't know what it's seasoned with. It just says Mexican, I believe it just said Mexican seasonings on the, on the uh, thing that I just read. But I read what it said it had. It just said Mexican spices, I believe. But like I said, it's nothing you can't handle if your stomach's not, if your stomach doesn't like spice or if you don't, you know, like spice or whatever. It's nothing you can't handle. So overall, I'd say it's good. I'd recommend it. Uh, out of 10, what am I going to rate it? I would say it is, hmm, it is Taco Bell, so don't expect like really, really high quality ingredients in it. Uh, I'm going to go with a seven and a half. I think that's fair. Seven and a half out of ten. I think that's what I'm going to rate it. It's, it's, it's pretty good stuff. Maybe a little bit overpriced. I would think maybe it should be more like instead of $3.49, maybe like $2.99 or even $2.49 maybe in today's market. But, you know, prices are what they are, so you can't really, you know, say much about that. Uh, and sorry, I kind of missed out on that spite on that uh, sauce because it, it got all over the bag. But uh, other than that, yeah, it's a recommend. So a seven and a half. That's my review, and that's what I'm sticking with. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure and share it around to all your friends. Help me get all the views I can. I can use all the help I can to help my channel grow. And uh, subscribe if you feel the need. If you haven't yet. And I uh, really appreciate it. I do appreciate each and every view I get. I'd like to stop. I'd like to invite you to stop by my channel, check out my other videos. I have a whole playlist of Taco Bell reviews of old items on there, and lots of pizza reviews, and just generally lots of food and drink reviews. So if you're into food reviews, I'm sure you'll find something you'll enjoy watching. So stop by my channel, check it out. And again, I'd like to thank you for watching this video, and I will catch you in the next one. Everyone, have a good night.